Now, we've talked a fair amount today about VR and AR, and you know Unity is 100% behind VR and AR. And you know, one of the things that um, we, we look to in the future is getting behind our developers in a bigger and better way. The future of VR is really important to us, so much so that we've actually hired a head of AR and VR strategy by the name of Tony Parisi. Now, some of you may have heard of Tony. He's a serial angel investor, a serial entrepreneur. He's co-created some of the important 3D graphics standards, including uh, VRML, X3D, and GLTF. Um, he is going to be overseeing partnerships for Unity globally um, and helping us in accelerate our investment in this important new area. We are so excited to have him as part of our team, and I'd like to have Tony come on stage from one side to the other and have him take the show away. Tony, welcome to the team, and welcome to the stage. Thank you, John. Thanks very much, John. Uh, delighted to be here, and uh, hello, everyone. I'm new to Unity, but I have been an, a fan of this company for a long time. It's created the most accessible pro game development tool there is in the world. So it's kind of no surprise to me that most of the VR and AR that you see these days was made with Unity. Now we're going to have some folks come up and give some talks and show some demos. But before that, I wanted to just share a little bit about our vision uh, for VR and AR at Unity. Uh, here, we think that immersive technologies like VR and AR represent the next computing platform. We're not just going to be using VR and AR to make games. We're going to tell stories and create worlds. We're going to design and sell products, make compelling presentations, and understand complex data. We're also going to share moments and hang out together online. You may recognize this young guy up here. At Oculus Connect last month, their developer conference, he gave a keynote, and he showed the company's vision for social interaction in the very near future in VR, with live avatars, photo sharing, streaming video, even a webcam to keep tabs on his dog back at home. It was a really great demo, and it was made with Unity. But that wasn't the only thing at Oculus Connect made with Unity. Oculus Rooms and Oculus Avatars were, as well as 22 of the 25 titles that were shown on the show floor. 22 out of 25 titles, that is astounding were made with Unity. But we actually want more. We want you to make all your VR and AR with Unity. So going forward, you're going to see a lot more investment on the part of Unity in VR and AR. Everything from HMD platforms to core tech to uh, the work at labs and in product and our global evangelism and our support for content creators with made, from, uh, with, made with Unity. So this is going to be great. Um, and one of the things I want to talk about now is, uh, I don't know if you folks saw the Daydream launch um, last month, but as you can imagine, most of the stuff there was made with Unity as well. And Google's here with us today to make some announcements. So without uh, further ado, I want to bring up Nathan Martz, who is the lead developer for the Daydream developer platform, the lead product manager. Come on up, Nathan. Thanks very much. Thanks, Tony. Hey, everyone. I got to say, it is incredibly exciting to be here. I, I don't know about you, but I find it to be incredibly inspiring to be surrounded by people who are committed to bringing new ideas to life. Uh, at Google, we very much share that passion uh, for bringing new ideas to life, for innovation, which is why just a few weeks ago, we announced the Pixel Phone and Daydream View. For months, our teams have been obsessing over the details, trying to get everything in the platform exactly right, from making sure that the phones are built for great VR, to fabricating viewers that are lightweight and comfortable, and of course, designing a controller that's accessible for new users, but also expressive for developers like you. But of course, it's not enough just to make something great. We want as many people in the world to experience VR as possible, so we've done the hard work to make sure that the viewer and the controller are sold together for a very affordable price. Now, that's great, but I know that for all of you, that doesn't really matter until you can go to a store, buy one, take it home, and experience Daydream for yourself. So I'm very, very happy to say that you'll be able to do that just nine days from now on November 10th. So, thanks. Now, 
for our team at Google, the launch of Daydream represents the culmination of an incredible amount of blood and sweat and tears and time and effort. Launching new hardware is extremely difficult. But honestly, we believe that people are not going to buy the hardware for the hardware's sake. They're going to buy it for the experiences that that hardware enables. And we know that the majority of those experiences won't be created at Google. They'll be created by developers like you. Now, as a former developer myself, I think Daydream actually provides some really, really interesting opportunities for innovation and creativity. Um, the first one is actually the Daydream controller itself. Even though it looks really simple, it's a three degree of freedom motion controller with a clickable touchpad and a couple of extra buttons, it's actually extremely expressive. You can do a lot with it because if you take the input from the controller and combine it from the context that your app provides, a little bit of your own creativity and some math, you can actually give your users a sense of hand presence in VR. You can create virtual objects that move directly based on what your users are doing with their hands. And that's really, really unique because up until today, hand presence was exclusively the domain of high-end PC-based VR. But with the Daydream controller, you can actually bring hand presence in VR to your users and do it at mobile scale. Speaking of mobility, uh, Daydream is it's mobile, right? It's based on your phone. That means that you can create immersive VR experiences that your users can take with them free of any tethers or anything else that links them to a single place uh, or single part of their world. Uh, of course, with great power comes uh, great uh, responsibility, right? And if you're building VR for a mobile device, it's actually challenging. Creating amazing apps that teleport users to new places that make them believe that they're physically present in other worlds is hard. It requires squeezing every ounce of performance possible out of the system. That's why we've established a deep partnership with Unity to bring a native integration for Daydream into Unity itself. This native integration is going to allow you to take advantage of all of Unity's fundamental innovations in VR, things like multi-threaded rendering, single-pass occlusion culling, uh, and shadow rendering. Um, it also guarantees that every improvement that Unity brings to VR in the future will also come to Daydream. In fact, today you can already check out this native integration through a technical preview. But I'm very happy to announce that starting in 5.6, Daydream will be part of mainline Unity, uh, which is super, super awesome. So that's great. Uh, we know that for many of you, you're going to be able to take Unity. You'll make amazing experiences that bring users through VR into the worlds that you've created. But we know that making an app is actually just the beginning. And you want to make great software, but you also want to be able to make a living doing it. So that means you need users to be able to find the content that you've built. And once they've found it, you need to be able to actually make money selling the app and selling goods in it. So we're going to highlight a couple things for you today. Uh, the first of them is, is Daydream Home. This is actually the first thing that users see when they put their phone in the viewer and step into VR. Those top three big tiles are called discovery windows. And they're actually surfaces where we can promote the best original content for Daydream. And the cool thing is that because we can actually deep link into apps, we can promote not just new apps, but new experiences within existing apps. That means when you upgrade an app, we can promote it, not just when you launch an app. Of course, monetization is also important. Once people have found your content, you want to be able to sell it to them. So with the launch of Daydream, we've brought Google Play into VR. That means users can shop in the Play Store, check out apps, buy and install them, all without leaving VR. It's an incredibly pleasant, low friction way to find new content. And for a developer, because all of this is built on top of the Play Store's foundation, you get everything you get with Play, from payments in dozens of different countries and currencies, to deep analytics, customer feedback and engagement features. Everything that you love about Play for Android is available for Daydream. So of course, we know that many of you have built businesses around actually selling content within your app. So we're very proud to announce that we're actually going to be bringing IAP into VR for Daydream day and date with launch. So regardless of whether you're a premium developer or a freemium developer or somewhere in between, you can bring your content, your business model to Daydream the day it launches. So I hope all of that gives you a sense of the depth and breadth of Daydream. But for me, you know, nothing speaks to the possibilities of a new platform better than to see what amazing creative developers are already making for it. 
So with that, I'd like to show you what a few of our best creators have already built with Daydream, uh, for Daydream with Unity. Thank you very much. So yeah, if you want to learn more, if you want to become a Daydream developer yourself, check out developers.google.com slash VR, or check out our dedicated talk this Thursday. I want to thank you all so much for your time. We can't wait to see what you make, the amazing experiences that you create for Daydream. Thank you so much. And with that, I'll hand it off to Dio. Thank you. <laughs>